Well, the scenery is beautiful. Yes, it is. Behind it's us, nice it's, day it's a little noisy. We've tr we're trying to figure out what that noise is. But welcome to another episode of Mayberry Memories. Yeah, welcome. We're excited to do this. We've been talking about it for a while. Mm, we have both been, been busy, so yeah. it's a little bit delayed. Yeah, I think this is our fifth or sixth episode. Yeah, I'm not sure. It sounds about right. Yeah, and we are going to be reviewing Man in a Hurry. Right. Uh, it requested, was requested yeah. by Jason Love about a month ago. And uh, this is an episode that I remember seeing years and years ago. But uh, I've watched it a couple of times in the last month. Well, and most of the episodes we've reviewed were from season one. And so we're jumping way ahead yes. to season three. Season three episodes. We'll have to circle back 16. to season one because my, my favorite episode, the Christmas episode from season one. And that's right. Still to be reviewed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, let's we'll just bounce all over the place with sure. these. So let's talk about Man in a Hurry. You want to give a rough summary of the plot? A uh, pretty basic plot. A, a businessman is driving uh, through the states uh, trying to get to one place or another. Mm -hmm. And... His car has car problems, and he's trying to find someone to fix his car, mm -hmm. and uh, runs into Mayberry, and the town appears to be deserted. Yeah, it's kind of weird when he walks into Almost town. Almost like an episode of The Twilight Zone. Right. Nobody's there. That first scene, that establishing shot when he's in downtown Mayberry, and there's no cars, there's it's, nobody. It feels like the outer limits or, or yeah, the Twilight it Zone. It does feel like. very Twilight Zone-ish. <coughs> And then it cuts to another scene, and there's people. Everybody's coming out of church. And what? Why wouldn't they on a Sunday? Right. And uh, of course, nobody's going to be working on on the Sabbath. Right. Right. To fix his car. Right. Well, Gomer's working. Gomer is working, but he's not not going to fix the car. No. Well, he can't fix the car. No. The most Gomer can do is basically tell him that uh, F stands for full and E stands for him. That's right. <laughs> and you know, they can get it fixed tomorrow. But the guy insists it needs to be done, so he uh, gets. Well, he's a very he goes important around, man. Goes around and visits a lot of the people Mr. in town. Mr. Tucker is his name, That's played right, by Mr. I want to say Robert M. Hart. Robert M. Hart. Yeah. Uh, the thing I love about this uh, particular episode is the music. It's slower, it's softer, and it's kind of what you might expect on a day when most people in Mayberry. Ha are are stepping away from their normal routine and taking time to ponder and reflect right yeah that's, uh, that sounds about right yeah and i was thinking about this episode <coughs> and the music is definitely a critical piece but there's also another cast member not a living thing but another cast member in this particular episode that really stands out to me which is the front porch on Andy's home. It's there where you see Andy or uh, Mr. Tucker actually change. He has that moment where I think it's Andy and Don are singing a song. Yeah, they're singing some song, and, and he Wild starts Wood. to sing with them. Right. Just slow, little, gentle song on the guitar. Wildwood, I think, is the name of the song, and. Uh, and it's interesting. Don and again, has Don a pretty Knotts good, pretty doing a good, good job. voice, right? Yeah, we've the talked about it before. Together. They try to later on play that Don can't sing. Oh, he can. But sing. he obviously can. Yeah, he can sing. And the two of them sing, sitting there on the porch, so, whittling, Jim, right? right? Somebody's well, whittling. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Andy not at that point. is. It's another key point in the episode. Andy is peeling an apple. Oh, that's right. Without ever, uh, with having it be one continuous peel, right? Yep. And we'll go, come back to that at the end because the closing shot is similar. Uh, but anyway, it's at that point he comes out and you can just see kind of everything change on his face, his countenance, and he uh, starts to sing with him. That's right. And, and all of a sudden he just becomes a different person. Uh, and then it's at that point the Gomer comes back and says, Hey, Goober can fix it. And he changes back, and he becomes that worried, frustrated, stressed out guy again. That's I think it's a little Opie that kind of uh, is the turning point. Opie talks to him about how excited he had been to sleep on the ironing board instead yeah. of his own bed. It's an adventure bed, I think he calls mm -hmm. it. And uh, it's that point where he starts up the car, and then you can just see it in his face. What am I doing here? Why yeah. am I? Why am I in such a hurry? And then makes up that lame excuse about the the vehicle not sounding good and gets Andy to co-conspire with him. 
Right. Saying, ah, oh, there's something there. Maybe he ought to stay the night. And then Opie gets to sleep on the ironing yep. board. But there's that closing scene in the episode where, uh, they're, again, they're on the front porch. And it's really that front porch is a critical piece of this episode. A lot, in a lot of the early episodes, yeah, it really is. Right. And uh, Andy and Don are singing another song. and uh, Fishing hole song, right? May have been. Uh, and... You see what he has in his hand. <clears throat> he's got an apple, yeah, and he's an been apple. peeling and he it. he has successfully peeled it without peeled breaking the peel. Right. And uh, I think it's very metaphorical for him successfully being able to kind of shake that, that feeling that I think we all have, right, where we don't, we're not in control of time. Instead, we're kind of letting time control us and push us forward. Yeah, it's a great message. Yeah. Uh, couple things pop into my mind when I think about that message. Uh, this is not related, but uh, I saw a special on Warren Zevon when he was mm -hmm. uh, passing away and he was doing his last last album and someone asked him, what, what have you learned? He says, enjoy every sandwich. Yeah. And it's kind of the same thing with this episode. Uh, yeah. Take the time, enjoy the finer things, the simpler things of life, because uh, life goes by fast enough. Yeah. You mentioned the Christmas episode earlier and I love that episode uh, for oh so many reasons. But this may be, and thanks to Jason Love for drawing our attention to it. Really, Absolutely. Really totally appreciate that. Uh, there's another guy who made a comment about this episode a, a couple weeks back, too. His username was O'Brites, I think, O-B-R-I-E-T-S. But this may be my favorite Andy Griffith episode. And there's a lot of them. This one's different, though. In the, a lot of them I just sit and chuckle at. Yeah, this, this one, one does not laugh a minute. No, no uh, there's moments where I definitely chuckle. There's 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 enough. The old lady's talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. about, Wally trying to diagnose the problem yeah, by the sound. There's good stuff, and Don saying, or, or I should say, Barney saying three or four times uh, his plans for the evening, which were to go take a nap. Yep. And go watch TV with Thelma Lou. Yep. He just says it over and over again. <clears throat> sitting on the porch. Or this episode has so many real genuine moments that you just think about yeah that, that resonates with me it's 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 why the andy griffith show is so great and it's why you know more than half a century still playing it's still still, a, still into syndication yeah and it still has it still means something we talk a lot about the Andy Griffith show and it being a simpler time and what it means and kind of you know, I think we all kind of wish things were a little simpler and there's obviously the show itself is is even back then life wasn't that simple not no, even in no, not betrayed. even in the little towns there in North Carolina so to that extent it's television but I think we can all do something to make life simpler and I, that would be my challenge you know for us pick something in your life that you could simplify and 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 you think would reduce the stress and you know you don't have to change everything overnight but pick a thing or two and see what you can do uh, life is too short we all need to slow down and enjoy the moments and if you haven't seen it go watch this episode on Netflix yep episode Season 3, episode 16, uh -huh. Man in a Hurry. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so uh, we'd love a thumbs up. And subscribe. if you haven't, consider uh, consider subscribing. Yes, we would consider that an absolute honor. But most importantly, as you said. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yep.